So really here we have a nice uh, simple little job, it's a uh, remote, this one from Panasonic Recorder it says, and um, the owner says with this that some of the buttons are not working, so if I point this at the mobile phone it's the easiest way, I can see, and I'm hoping the camera's picking up, yeah, you can see the, the LED in the end sort of like flashing, yeah, purple colour. So a couple of the buttons uh, are not working, and I can see that if I press, uh, some of the buttons that one's working and i've got a couple of buttons here that are not working so these two buttons are not working which is what the customer said um <clears throat> so it's only a small little repair but you know i mean you can fix these and it's 10 euros um otherwise what are people going to do they're going to get one of the uh, compatibles which probably isn't that compatible it'll cost them that much anyway uh, they can go online maybe find one original one probably cost them more yeah uh, but either way, you're going to have to wait, whereas, you know, they can bring this in and I can fix this today, yeah, so they can have uh, have the remote back working again, later the same day, 10 euros, they'll be more than happy. Uh, sometimes they'll leave you a, a tip for a beer as well, yeah, on top of that, so uh, don't, uh, you know, discount these sort of jobs thinking that there's uh, no money in them, but there is, yeah. So, first thing we need to do is get inside it. Generally, these things held together just by plastic clips but this one actually seems to have two screws in it as well um so it's worth having a look yeah there any screws in there um so we're going to need a small smaller than that screwdriver and uh, see if we can get these a uh, couple of screws out of here so i can have a little dig around in my uh, box of bits yeah and find uh, there we go little, little uh, cross head screwdriver so take a couple of uh, screws out of this, yeah. It's one moment, somebody's just messaging me. Okay, sorted that out. Uh, so, um, I've just taken the two little screws out, so hopefully now we'll be able to actually uh, get inside this, yeah. Um, see if we can actually get the thing to open. This one's proving a bit tough. So I'll find a different... Uh, one of these plastic uh, spudges, as they call them, yeah. I'd never even heard of that word till somebody <laughs> told me I needed one of these things, spudger. Aye. This one's proving a little bit tricky, but I'm sure we can get in here. Okay, with a bit of effort, I uh, managed to get to open up. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, I can see straight away there's some liquid in here. Something's gotten here wet, yeah, you can see it on the PCB and on here. So um we're gonna have to clean that up. A bit of isopropyl alcohol is uh, good for this. So uh, a little bit of kitchen roll, a bit of isopropyl alcohol. We can uh, give all this PCB uh, a good clean. There you can see the rubby dirt coming off that, yeah. <sighs> and then the same with this is obviously uh, liquid. I mean, I'll, I'll zoom it down a little bit, you'll see it. So I'm sure you can see now there's some liquids got into this, yeah. So let's just uh, lift this out of here and give this a good uh, clean. Again, I'll use a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Just to uh, give that a bit of a wipe. Okay, so that's you know pretty much cleaned up all the moisture off that. Uh, there might be some in the little nooks and crannies, but uh, the circuit boards are dry and this thing's basically dry. So uh, now she just hopefully it matter just putting this back together and uh, seeing if it works. Uh, that, that's the good news. It's probably worth trying actually rather than put this back rather than putting the uh, thing back in. If we lay it on top of the board, we can now test the buttons that weren't working, uh, which, which 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 were these ones. Yeah. So the fast forward and the the rewind. So let's get the camera off on on the phone again. Let's see if it's now working. So I've just uh, laid this back on top of here, actually, rather than put it back together. 
and I can now use the uh, camera on my phone if it hasn't uh, gone off. Yeah, it's gone off. One moment. Okay, put the pin in. There we go. So if I now point this, so you can just see it. Hopefully, and we'll press the non-functioning buttons, and there, uh, the thing slid now. But it, I can see it was working. There, yeah. See the flashing on the end of the LED. Okay, so that's fixed. Uh, just a matter of putting that back together, and uh, we'll just check again to be sure. And that's you know that's that's your quick profit. Uh, Cust will be happy. Gets his remote back today. Uh, everybody's happy. You get a bit of money, and uh, on to the next one. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you soon on the next one. Uh, just before I go, I suppose I'll show you his back together. Yeah, it's all in one piece. Then we can uh, just again take the uh, camera on the phone and just uh, have one final look to make sure those buttons are actually working now. Okay, so again we can see on here, uh, point it at the remote and these are the buttons that weren't working. Yeah, uh, they just flashing away. So liquid, yeah, that's all it was. Okay guys, see you soon on another one. Bye for now.